What's going on everybody? Kleepus Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G and the Blue F91 5G. Now as always, if you do want to learn more about either phone individually, be sure to check out the description, where I am linking to several other videos about them, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, let's get into it. So with the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G, we're getting a 6.4 inch 120Hz Super AMOLED display with a 1080p resolution, a PPI of 403, and a 19.5x9 aspect ratio. With the Blue F91 5G, we're getting a really large 6.8 inch LCD display with a 1080p resolution as well, a PPI of 396, and a 20.5x9 aspect ratio. So. On one hand, while both phones do have really nice looking displays, with the Super AMOLED and a higher refresh rate, the image quality with the A54 5G is going to be quite a bit better. A Super AMOLED tends to make the colors a little bit more vibrant, the brightness is better, and as you can see, the viewing angles with the A54 5G are also quite a bit better. So if you're outside in the sun for example, the A54 5G is going to be a lot easier to see. And with the 120Hz refresh rate, the movement on the screen is a bit faster and smoother, making the phone in general feel a bit more premium. But on the other hand, as you can clearly see, the Blue F91 5G is quite a bit larger at 6.8 inches versus again 6.4 inches with the A54 5G. And this definitely does have its advantages too, especially if you're consuming a lot of content and maybe you're doing something where the image quality isn't super important, like reading for example. And even if you're doing something like watching videos, sure on one hand, the image quality with the A54 5G is going to be a bit better, but the Blue F91 5G also does have a really nice looking image too. Remember, it does have a 1080p resolution, so the image is nice and clear, it's just that the colors and brightness aren't going to be quite as good as they are with the Super AMOLED. So either way, if you're looking for a phone that has a nice display, either phone will be a good choice. But if you prefer higher image quality, and maybe you don't want a super large display, the A54 5G will be a better choice. But of course, if you want a larger display, but maybe image quality isn't super important to you, as long as it still looks decently nice, in that case, you might want to go with the Blue F91 5G instead. Now for storage, both phones are getting 128GB of internal storage with microSD card expansion, so definitely a great amount of storage here. For the average user, you're probably never going to fill this up, and even if you do, since both phones do have microSD card expansion, you do get some flexibility there. So if the storage is important to you, you're definitely not going to go wrong with either phone. For security features, both phones have face unlock, and they both have fingerprint scanners as well. With the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G, it's right here in the display, so definitely nice and premium looking. And with the Blue F91 5G, it's on the power key, so real convenient. But starting with the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G, let's try them out. There we go, one more time. And there we go. And now for the Blue F91 5G. There we go, one more time. And there we go. So as you can see there, both fingerprint scanners were real fast and responsive, no issues at all. And again, remember, both phones have face unlock too, so if you want to use that instead, you always can. For the camera setups, with the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G up front, we got a nice looking hole punch design for the selfie camera. This camera is 32 megapixels. Then on the back, we got a triple camera setup with a 50 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 5 megapixel macro camera. Then for video, this phone has a max recording quality of 4K in both the rear and front cameras, so definitely nice to see here. With the Blue F91 5G, up front we got pretty much the same design for the selfie camera. This camera is 16 megapixels. And on the back we got a quad camera setup with a 48 megapixel main camera, a 5 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera, and a 2 megapixel macro camera. And then for video, the Blue F91 5G has a max recording quality of 2K in the rear camera and then 1080p in the front. So in general, both phones do have really good camera setups, but I would say the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G is a little bit better when it comes to quality. Sure, on one hand, the Blue F91 5G really does take fine pictures, and if you're just taking the occasional photo for like Instagram for example, or something like Snapchat where the quality isn't super important, and you're a bit more of a casual camera user overall, the camera quality on this phone is going to be perfectly fine. But on the other hand, if you're really into taking photos, maybe you're constantly using your camera for stuff like social media, maybe you're even recording videos for YouTube, so you might want to use 4K or something like that, and that kind of situation where you are a bit more of a heavy camera user, you will get a better experience with the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. To give you an idea of what they can do, first, here's some pictures taken with the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. Overall, definitely great quality here. And again, if you're taking a lot of pictures, no matter what you're taking them for, whether it's something where you want them to be really presentable, like Instagram or maybe for some sort of business purpose, or if you're doing more casual stuff like Snapchat or sending photos to friends and family, no matter what you're doing, with the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G, you will definitely get a good experience. 
And then here's some pictures taken with the blue F91 5G. Again, I definitely do think these photos are really good quality too. I feel like the saturation is a little bit stronger than the A54 5G, which some people might actually prefer. I personally think the A54 5G still looks a bit better, but again, in general, for the average user, I feel like the photo quality we're getting here is still perfectly fine. So if you are looking for a mid-range phone that has a nice camera, you really won't go wrong with either phone. But again, keep in mind, the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G can record 4K videos, whereas the blue F91 5G can only record 2K and that is only in the rear camera. And the front camera does max out at 1080p, so if you do want to get that higher video resolution, then you will want to go with the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. Now when it comes to RAM and processor, with the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G, we're getting 6GB of RAM with the Exynos 1380 processor. With the Blue F91 5G, this phone has 8GB of RAM with the MediaTek Dimensity 810 processor. For overall performance, both phones are pretty fast for what they are, but between the two, the A54 5G is a bit faster. On one hand, with the Blue F91 5G, for more basic daily activities like web browsing, social media, using the phone as a phone, text messages, stuff like that, watching videos, and even some mobile gaming here and there, this phone is definitely fast enough to get the job done. But if you're going to be on your phone a bit more, maybe doing more demanding activities like higher performance mobile gaming, maybe you're playing Call of Duty for example, for that kind of use, the A54 5G, while still not being quite flagship level, will be significantly faster than the Blue F91 5G. So again, if you are going to be on your phone a lot, you will be better off with the A54. Now I did run a benchmark test on each phone using Geekbench 6, and here are the results I got. So as you can see between the two, again, the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G does have quite an advantage. So again, if you do want the faster phone between the two, then obviously this is definitely the one to go with. But again, the Blue F91 5G, while not being quite as fast, is still not a slow phone. And for the average user, if you're really not doing a ton on your phone and you just need something fast enough for basic daily activities, it will still get the job done just fine. Now both phones have 5000 mAh batteries, with the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G supporting 25 watt fast charging, and the Blue F91 5G supporting 18. So in general, the difference in charging speed is there, but kind of minimal honestly. I feel like in the grand scheme of things it's not really going to make a huge difference. But of course both phones have really large batteries. With 5000 mAh batteries you can expect to get some great battery life here. So if that is important to you, you're not going to go wrong either way. But one other thing I do want to point out here is that the Blue F91 5G does actually have wireless charging, whereas the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G doesn't. Now I feel like this is a feature people aren't really going out of the way to find, especially when it comes to phones in this price range. Now of course if you were going for like a thousand dollar flagship phone, then yeah you would expect it to have wireless charging, that is a feature that pretty much every high-end device does and should have. But when it comes to budget phones like this, it's definitely not necessary. But at the same time, it is a nice feature to have in certain situations. So if you do want wireless charging, then again, keep in mind, the Blue F91 5G does actually have it, making it one of the few non-flagship phones that does. Whereas again, the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G does not have wireless charging. Now for the software, with the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G, this phone does have Android 13. And knowing Samsung software support, you can also expect to get several other major updates for it in the future. The Blue F91 5G unfortunately only has Android 11, so at this point in 2023, seeing as we are on Android 13, it is definitely quite a bit behind. This may not matter to everyone, because I know there are some people who just really don't care about the software, but if having the latest version of Android is important to you, and I will say it definitely does have its benefits, then in that case, the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G is definitely the one to go with. But if you are really just looking for a basic device, maybe you're not even planning on keeping the same phone for that long. In that case, the Blue F91 5G is still going to be okay. And I mean, even though it has Android 11, which is definitely kind of outdated, it's not like it has any performance issues because of it. So in the grand scheme of things, it's probably okay. But again, if you do actually care about the software, which does make sense, I mean, if you're going through the trouble of getting a new phone, I feel like it makes sense to at least get one with the latest version of Android. So in that case, the A54 5G will have a huge advantage. As far as other features go, both phones do have NFC, so if you like to use tap and pay, that's not going to be an issue for either phone. And another thing to keep in mind here is that with the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G, unfortunately, this this phone does not have a headphone jack, whereas the Blue F91 5G does. So if you have a pair of wired headphones you want to use, and you don't want to get an adapter or switch to wireless headphones, then of course, the Blue F91 5G will have that advantage. But in conclusion, which of these phones is better? In general, I would say in most ways, the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G is the better device here. Now seeing as the A54 5G is technically a higher end device between the two, I'm sure this is not really a surprise. But with the A54 5G, the Super AMOLED display really does give it a nicer looking image. So if you're doing stuff like watching videos or playing games, where you really want things to look nice, I do think despite the size difference, things are still going to look better on the A54 5G. The A54 5G also does have a slightly higher quality camera that can record 4K videos. It is significantly faster, and it has a much newer version of Android 
Android, with way better software support too. On the other hand though, the Blue F91 5G is clearly larger, which a lot of people do prefer. And again, it also does have a headphone jack, which I imagine is probably not a feature that's really going to be a deal breaker. But at the same time, it is still something to keep in mind. And in general, if you're really just looking for a super basic device, and you really just need a good amount of storage, maybe a larger display, 5G connectivity with decent performance, and a nice battery, the Blue F91 5G still will get the job done just fine. And this phone is so affordable that even though it definitely does have plenty of drawbacks, if you really just need something for the basics, I feel like it's still a perfectly fine choice. But again, on the other hand, if you do want the best phone between the two, then of course, the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G is definitely the winner here. But this concludes my comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G and the Blue F91 5G. Again, if you want to learn more about either phone individually, definitely check out the description where I am linking to several other videos about them, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipa's Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.